Hey, real estate family, a couple of really important and interesting things happening right now, um, including what's going on with forbearance and foreclosures, but we're going to start with how many active properties are for sale, residential properties in Lancaster County. We're at 444. And that 400 mark we've seen since spring, anywhere from like 385 up to 450. So that's pretty common right now. We're seeing about 400 or so active listings on the market at any given time. And then according to National Association of Realtors, 80% or eight out of 10 houses are selling for list or over list price. Many of them are going for 10 or 20,000 above list price. And that's just because as you've seen, you're watching the market, we have a low inventory. We just don't have enough houses for the number of buyers that we have. And especially as we're coming into spring, into summer, it's a peak buying season, lots of buyers looking for homes. And so it's just creating quite the demand on home sales right now. Um, a couple of things that people are wondering about as we see the end of the foreclosure moratorium at the end of June, what's going to happen? Are we going to see foreclosures? We know that there's about 2 million people in forbearance right now. A lot of those people are going to come out of forbearance towards uh, fall or end of this year. Um, we do know that the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau is trying to um, increase the length of that for, uh, foreclosure moratorium. So we're not quite sure yet if we're going to see a lot of foreclosures or not. People are asking, well, is that, if that happens, is it going to change the market? Are we now going to go back to a buyer's market? Are there going to be a flood of homes? Um, I'm going to tell you what, I think it's not going to totally swing the market. We might have some of the pressure taken off, but there's a, a report by National Association of Realtors that says that since 2001, we have faced a shortfall of 5.5 to 6.8 million homes um, just with homes not being built fast enough. So that still shows an incre uh, incredible lack of supply. And one of the uh, quotes that they gave, I'm going to read this to you, a severe lack of new construction and prolonged underinvestment has led to an acute shortage of available housing um, with underbuilding and the existing de demand supply gap is enormous. So even if we see some foreclosures coming into the market, I don't think it's going to switch the market and flip it from a seller's market to a buyer's market. I do hope it takes some of the pressure off and gives buyers a little bit of an easier time finding a home. Anyway, if you have questions about current um, listings or anything else about the real estate market, please let me know. I'm always happy to help. This is Lisa Graham, Lisa Graham Real Estate Group with Keller Williams Elite.